Hey everybody, Lewis here, Our Shack Barbecue and other things. Well, today we're going to be talking about one of my WSMs, 22 inch. I really like these. Uh, they're great for a backyard like this and then also using in competitions, which we do. We take, uh, I have two of these that I take for competitions and then I usually take another kettle. Uh, but uh, I really, really like the way that these cook, the way that you can control the temps and how long they go. I think they're a perfect design. And there are a lot of nice accessories out there that you can get for them. Such as, like if you look here, I've upgraded a uh, thermometer. Uh, this is a, uh, what is this? I believe this is a river country, if I remember right. Uh, and it's, it's all right. It's, I still run probes and other things in it. I've got the grommet on the side there to run uh, my probes in. Uh, and then, as you can see, I've also got uh, the uh, hinge for the lid uh, from Cajun Bandit. And then I also have their stainless steel uh, door here for it. Uh, the one thing that I wish these had was a shelf, uh, especially when I'm running at a comp where I have my fireboard hooked up uh, monitoring the temp of this one and then the temp of the other one and then the temp on a third grill if I want. I also have the fan that I have not used on this but I plan on uh, from Fireboard. I just would like a place to put that. So I went ahead and ordered a shelf from Cajun Bandit and today we're going to assemble it on here. So let's get into the unboxing and see how it goes on here. Go ahead and open the box here and see what we got. With my uh, trusty old dandy blade. There we go. Got it open. Uh, so this was, when I bought it, it was $99.99. So $100 US dollars for this shelf. And in the box, we've got uh, side table installation guide. There you are, you see it right there, very nice. Uh, and then we've got our mounting brackets here. We've got some Loctite for the nuts and bolts. We've got a package of nuts and bolts and the other bracket. And of course, another Cajun Bandit sticker. Oh yeah, and then got some popper, <laughs> sweet. Then we have the stainless steel side shelf. Look at that, isn't that nice? And it's wrapped. So let's get the box out of the way. This unwrapped here. It's a nice looking shelf right there. Nice stainless steel. Score. All right. So, what does it say we need to do? Uh, first start by removing the water pan and cooking grates. Then with a flat screwdriver and a 7 16 wrench, carefully remove one of the lower rack support screws on the side you want to mount the shelf. Taking care of, taking care to identify the left and right bracket, two or three. This is important. Place the correct bracket in the cylinder and replace the screws. Okay. Uh, brackets, then bolt through the farthest from the cylinder to the corresponding brackets and uh, go on there. All right, seems self-explanatory. Uh, it is in a, a fold up and down. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to go get a 7 16 wrench and a flathead screwdriver. So let's go do that. All right, so I got the screwdriver, got a crescent wrench, and then I got a 7 16 socket. Uh, so we should have that all covered. Uh, let's see, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory what we're going to do here. We've got our brackets. 
And as you can see, uh, the uh, bracket will go uh, on the outside of the uh, WSM, it looks like. Like this. Yeah, we'll have to play with that, figure out which one is which once we get into it. And then we got our replacement parts here. Let's get all this out. A little, little tube of Loctite, that's nice. And uh, our screws and our nuts and bolts. All right, plastic bags. So now let's get over to the uh, WSM, get it all uh, disassembled so we can uh, start working on this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lid off. So I gotta remove this pin in the back. Like so. Take the lid off, we'll just set it back here. I'll put the pin in here so I don't lose that. Take the grate off. Whoa. Set it up there. Take the bottom grate. Set it up there. Take the water pan out. Hmm. All right. I'm going to put the shelf on this side of the unit. And what we need to do is we'll just spin it. We'll keep it right on here. Spin that. And it says on the instructions here, first by removing all that, uh, want to mount to carefully remove one of the lower rack support screws on the side you want to mount the shelf on. Here, we have a screw here and a screw here. Let's first see if that's uh, the distance that this thing is gonna go. Yeah, so that fits right in between those, like so. We're gonna have it up here, so we'll probably be removing all of these because the bracket will go like this. So, let's see what we can do here. Undead the uh, nut on the back side of this. And we'll just unscrew this best we can. Feels so close to being done there. All right. Now there is a little, you know, washer right there. Not, or, um, heat resistant washer right there on it. Let's get this screw bolt, get this nut out of here. All right, see if this fits through here before I do anything. Okay, yeah, that fits through there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna get it back in here like so. And we're just going to get it started because we need to get this other one off. Which is up here. Set the stuff down on there. So we have a working area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up and we'll put the bolt back through like so and we'll get this going back on here so that's on there like that See if we can figure out how this shelf goes on. And what you do is you have a th threaded one, and then you have a uh, 
it's kind of a male female style this is the female so this would go on the inside of your shelf so figure out how that goes okay. so it actually latches the back one will be free so we'll start there look at this like this get that started on there Something like that. Okay. And if you notice, the back end has a little notch in it. So this should ride right over that. And then when it catches, it's, it'll let it come out and go down. Now we'll just get one of these front ones on so you can see that. Make sure I got everything. So this one goes in the slot. And you are working blind here, so just be aware of that. All we're doing is going to get it started on there. And then we can tighten it up later. We'll do the same thing on this side. Get lined up like so. And yourself slides down like that. Get this tightened up to the bracket like that. Get this one tightened up to the bracket. And then your shelf just sits like that. It's right below the uh, grommet for running your cords in, which is nice. Um, yeah, it just comes right out and down. Get it on there. That's how it sits. All right, there you go. There's the 22-inch stainless steel Weber Smoky Mountain shelf. Collapsible or foldable down out of the way shelf. Now, um, what I'm gonna do, I, now what I recommend for the uh, little male, female uh, nut and bolt that go on here on the shelf bracket to lock, hold your shelf into place, I recommend that you have a uh, Phillips head and a standard so you can really tighten those down. Uh, and then I'm also going to put the Loctite inside the threads there uh, to kind of keep it so they won't come loose. Um, but yeah, that's real nice. And it folds up real easy, goes right into place. Looks really nice on there. Oh yeah, I like it. Well, I'll have a link uh, down in the description where I got this from Cajun Bandit. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And uh, like I always say, Thank you for watching. You can do this too. It's not that hard. Until next time, my friends. Grill on.